So today we are going to go to different places like a church, a temple, and a synagogue. And we're really going to learn about all of these religions and then explain how it relates to Life of Pi. Alright guys, so we're here at the first place, uh, the church. So let's let's go inside and uh, sit through a church service. Christianity is all about who Jesus Christ is, that he died for our sins, and that he was buried, and that he rose again from the grave, and so we believe he was the promised Messiah that the Jews would preach about, and so we believe that he, he came and supplied all of our needs because we live in sin. My experiences in the church went very well. I really enjoyed all the songs and prayers that they did, and their pastor was really nice. I found out that Christianity is actually just a way to bring yourself closer to God, and through the different practices of song and uh yeah. In the book, Pi breaks his vegetarianism and he's really sad about this and he prays every day about the fish that he's originally killed for bait. But through Christ, according to this church, he can be forgiven for his sins. Hello, we're at the Hindu temple and we're ready to learn about Hindu. Ism. Ism. <laughs> So what is Hinduism? Well, Hinduism is one of the most ancient religions in the world and essentially the basic philosophy or the basic tenet of Hinduism is that there is one God and all of us go through our own journeys to ultimately be one or united with that one God. So you're able to Pray to the God of your choosing. If you're looking for strength, you can pray to one God. If you're looking for knowledge and wisdom, you can pray to another, I mean, pray to another God because he or she, God can be a he or a she, is just too infinite, so too vast, too huge to be confined to a single form. And that's why we have lots of different forms of God. They are just different forms of the same God. Youngsters are free to practice it in many different ways. So sometimes that can become a little bit chaotic when you see it at a superficial level. But underneath, they are all grounded in the same tenets of morality, do no wrong. Yeah. yeah, thank you so much. Oh, absolutely. So I was really interested in Hinduism and I found it like really cool. And it was a new experience for me because I haven't learned about it. And I like how people can make it their own and be with themselves to get closer to God and like become one with Him. So Hinduism, I learned that uh, it's it's kind of similar to all the religions that I've known before. Like there's only one God; it's monotheistic. Uh, I thought it was really cool that they believe that there's like a bunch of different reincarnations of God, and each one means like a different thing. Like there's a reincarnation God of strength, of wisdom, stuff like that. Thought that was really cool. In Pi, he references Hinduism probably the most. For example, he thanked the Lord Vishnu for becoming a fish to save the world. And then also when he was starving, that was the first fish he caught. And he thanked Vishnu for becoming a fish to save him. We're here at the congregation B'nai Israel. We can't film inside, so we're just gonna have to run you through our experience later. Let's go. Put on your yarmulke, here comes Hanukkah. So much funaka to celebrate Hanukkah. So the synagogue wouldn't let us film inside, so unfortunately, we went to our backup plan, the kosher Isle of Kroger. Now Slutsky, our master on Judaism, what does it mean to be Jewish? So basically Judaism is like uh, praying and believing in one God and God helped the Israelites in many different scenarios like for example on like, the Passover story. 
So, do you think that if Pi heard about Judaism in the book Life of Pi, do you think he would actually accept those beliefs and also try to add that to his following? Uh, I do. Judaism is kind of similar to like Christianity and like, Islam in that there's like one God and pray to one God, believe in one God, stuff like that. And then he also keeps different like diets. He's like kind of like Presbyterian, right? Yeah, well, he's actually just vegetarian. He's yeah. vegetarian? Oh, yeah. I mean, after he went on the boat, do you think yeah. all the foods they ate on the boat would be kosher? It, it depends. I don't know what the little biscuits were, what was in them, but the water is. And if, if the fish that he ate had, like, three fins and uh, at least two fins, I think, and scales, then it would be kosher. Though Pi did not practice uh, Judaism, since it's an Abrahamic religion, it goes hand-in-hand hand with both Islam and Christianity, which he did practice. Yeah. Thank you.